Hello friends, welcome to my channel Shornavo Channel. And here I'm I'm here with a Rubik's Cube. I'm going to teach you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. So So subscribe to my channel for more content like this. So now I'm going to teach you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. So let's begin. So this is my scrambled Rubik's Cube. This is my scrambled Rubik's Cube. So for solving this, we have to be familiar with the Rubik's Cube. Now we have to know that which part is called what. So let's see this one. This one is called the centerpiece. Like this is having orange, this is having blue. Now a centerpiece only has one color. Like this is orange, this is blue, this is red, this is green. Uh, so we have to know. So these are the centerpieces. So this, follow my fingers, this. This, this, this. These are the edge pieces. Now, a edge piece always has two colors. Like this. This is having yellow and red. Mm. This is having orange and blue. This is having red and blue. This is having orange and white. So, these are the edge pieces. So, these are the corner pieces. Like the other which are left these four these are the corner pieces now a corner piece always has three colors like this is having white orange and blue uh, now this is having yellow blue and orange so uh, this uh, this is having yellow green and red so now let us see these are the corner pieces so an edge piece is always between two corner pieces like this one is between these two corner pieces this one is always between these two corner pieces this one is between these two corner pieces <coughs> the center pieces is at the middle so now we have to know that how to solve a Rubik's Cube so we will do it step by step so I'm going to teach you in approx five steps. So the first step is to create a cross. So we will start with a white cross. I will show you how a cross looks like. This. This is a cross. So for a cross we only need a center piece like this one. And four edge pieces like this, this, this and this. Four edge pieces. So Cross or plus? So, this is called the cross, but you can also call it a plus. Like it's looking a plus, like holding like this, and if you hold it like this, it's looking like a cross. So, for me, it's simple to say cross, but if you want, you can say it plus also. So, for making a plus or cross, we need four white edge pieces. We are making a white cross, so we need four white edge pieces. Like this one is here, this one, and a centerpiece, a white centerpiece. So, let's scramble it. Don't think that I'm doing it any pattern. Actually, uh, the method I'm going to teach you it can be used for solving any Rubik's Cube. Any scrambled Rubik's Cube. So it's scrambled quite enough. So to make a white cross we will need white edge pieces and a center. But for making the white cross full proper, the perfect white cross, we have to make it on the yellow center because see, this is white and just opposite to white is yellow. Here is yellow. So, for making the white cross perfect, we have to make it on the yellow center. So, now let's see. 
uh, for that we will need edge pieces don't focus at the corner only just the edge pieces like here is one white edge piece so just lift it up and it comes here like I am showing you again it is here it comes here now another one is here but if we again lift it this one will hide so this is a blank means a blank means where a white edge piece is not placed till now so th this is the edge piece and it is a blank so we will just place a blank here uh, so that we can just turn it and it comes here so the blank is here and the, this piece is here so just turn it and it comes here the other one is here so now how to turn this just like this and then like this so uh, any other yeah it is here so how to place it here we cannot place it like this we cannot place it like wait uh, so this one how can we place this one so for placing this one we just this is the middle layer we can just move the middle layer and just like this any other yes here is another one so like the same just put it down but if we do it like this this piece will hide so we will place a blank here this is a blank so we will place a blank here this is the piece just turn it and a white cross over the yellow center is formed now we have to turn it to the white center so how will we do it a edge piece has two colors so <coughs> this uh, suppose we start with this this is white and red so we will match it with the red center this is the red center and red and red is matched now just this block this block just a 180 degree turn and the white is placed here so now this one this is having orange so orange just match it with orange center and then a 180 degree turn it's placed here uh, this one it's having green so green it's matching now so a 180 degree turn of this block this layer it's here and this one is blue so let's match it with blue it's now blue blue so just a 180 degree turn and let's see wow the white cross is completed the white cross or you can say the white plus it is completed so let's see uh, so is this cross perfect we have to know so for identifying it uh, like which edge pieces we have used like this one is white and orange so the orange and orange will match this is white and green so the green and green will match uh, the red is red and matching and the blue and blue is matching so wow it's perfect it's perfect so now our next step is to complete the second layer now to complete the second layer we have to hold the cube like this means the white will be at the bottom and the yellow will be at the top so white top yellow bottom so in the upper layer this is called the upper layer in the upper layer we have to find we have to look for white corner pieces in the front means this is the upper layer but not in this portion in this portion so we have got one it's uh, it's white red and green so we will place it between the red and green center so let's see it is green and it's red so now the fr uh, white should be at our front so the white uh, this side of the white is empty means this side uh, this is the last block of this side but this side there are two more blocks so this side for the white is empty so the white can move this side so we will move it this side the side we moved we will lift the other side like this lift and then we will undo this movement and then we will undo this movement so the corner piece is placed here any more 
uh, yes, here is one. Red and blue. So it's already already between the red and blue center. So now uh, this side of white, this side is empty, and this side it's the white is the last piece. So this side is empty. We will move it this side. We will leave the opposite side. Then we will undo this movement. We will undo this movement. So it is placed here. So now, uh, any other? Yes. Here is one. It is orange and blue. So now it's orange and blue. It's matching. It's orange. It's blue, and it's orange and blue. So this side of white is empty. So just turn it this side. Lift the other side. Undo and undo. Any more? Now it is in the upper layer, but is it is in the top, like this portion. So for this we have to bring it in the front. So first we have to match the colors. Like it is green and orange, so we will bring it between. It, here is green and orange. So just the piece should be at your front right. So it is the front right. Means the top portion it should be in the front. And it is in the right, so just lift it up, and then an anti-clockwise turn, and then again lift it down. So the piece is here. It is in the upper layer, but in front. So it is uh, green and orange. So green and orange, it's matching. Now this side is empty. Turn it this side. Lift the opposite side. Then undo and undo. So this process I am teaching you. It is called the inserting process. So now the first layer is completed. The full white, the full white is completed. Now uh, we have to see that is it perfect or not. So for seeing it, uh, all the edge pieces we have used will match with the center pieces like this green and green matching, orange and orange matching, uh, blue and blue matching, uh, these red and red matching. And the corner pieces will be between the centers, like the, uh, red and green. It is between red and green, red and blue. It is between red and blue, and the others also are matching like that. So the first layer is completed. So our next step is to complete the second layer, means this layer. This will, this, this, this will be completed. So for doing that. We will hold like this, yellow top and white bottom, white is bottom, yellow is top. So in the upper layer, this is the upper layer, in the upper layer we have to look for non-yellow edge pieces because yellow will be placed in the third layer. So we will have to non-yellow edge pieces like this, can we use this? No, it's yellow, it is yellow and red. But let's see, this is green and orange, we can use this because it is non-yellow and it is an edge piece. And it is in the upper layer. So let's see which color is facing the front. It's green, not orange. Orange is facing the top. Green is facing the front. So we will match it with green center. It was here. I matched it with green center. So the orange, orange of orange is this side. See. Actually, this piece have to be placed here. This piece, this piece. Has to be placed here. Can you see? So, because uh, orange is this side, green is this side, so this piece will be placed here. So we can't take it off and place it here. Huh? Uh, we have to do it properly. So for doing it, uh, the side we are going to place it, we have to turn the upper layer to the opposite side. Like we are placing this side, so we will turn the upper layer to the opposite side. Means this side. It is done. Then the side we have turned. The side against it means this side, which we are we in which we will place it. We'll lift this up. Then this side we have turned. We will undo this, and then we will undo this. Now the normal inserting process. I told you, like this side of the white is empty. We will turn it this side. We'll lift the other side, undo and undo. So this is the normal inserting process, and that uh, that piece was there, but it has come here. Wow. So it's orange and green is matching. So let's see any more. Uh, yeah, it's blue and orange. So we will match it with blue center. 
so it is matching with blue center orange is this side so this block will be placed here so we will turn it to the opposite side means this side turn it leave this side uh, undo undo and then the normal insert means this side is empty we will turn it this side leave the opposite side undo undo and it is placed here any more let's see yeah here it is green and red so green is in the front so we will place it and this uh, with green so it's matching with green center now yellow is in this side means this piece will be placed here this piece will be placed here so yeah uh, it's red and green so here is red and here is green so this piece will be placed here so for placing it here we have to turn it to the opposite side to this side and the uh, place we have to place it uh, we will lift that up and then we have turned it that side we will undo this and then we will undo this so it is the normal inserting process i told you this side of the white is empty turn it this side is the white proper yes the white is proper but let us see is the center leg uh, is the second leg complete no it is not one more is left so this is red and blue so red is facing the front we will turn it to red now blue is this side means this block this piece will be here so for turning it here we have to turn the upper leg to the opposite side and here we have to going to place so we will lift this up and then the this movement we will undo and this movement also we will undo now white uh, no, the normal inserting process white this side empty left the opposite side undo undo so is it placed properly yes now the second layer is complete pause pause so uh, i'm going to show you a special case so this is a special case where this is the com this is complete this is complete this is these are also complete but this piece this piece is twisted wrong for example it is uh, the green is going to be this side but the green is that side the red is going to be this side but the red is that side so <clears throat> for turning the piece for twisting the piece properly we have to uh, the upper layer the upper layer we have to turn it this side actually uh, this piece which is not properly placed it should be in your front right so it is in the front right so we have to turn the upper layer to this side and this is the problem part so we will lift this up uh, we will undo this we will undo this now the normal insert this side is empty lift uh, lift the other side so the piece is separated like this the piece is separated so it is matching with red red we have to place it here so we will move it to the opposite side means this side lift this side undo undo and then the normal insert this side is empty we will turn it this side lift the other side undo undo so now let's see the second layer is completed now over 50% is completed now so for creating the third layer i'm going to create uh, we have to create first a third cross or a third plus means the yellow cross or a yellow plus so for that we can get four possibilities i am going to uh, show the four possibilities one is the dot which is present at here uh, means only the yellow center will be at the top uh, so for this uh, the other is l means kind of this so means uh, there will be a center and two edge pieces which will form like a l form like an l um, the other one is the third possibility is a line means a horizontal or a vertical line will be there and the most rarest possibility will be a cross means a cross will form here so we will we are going to start with a dot so for this we are going to perform some simple algorithms now to know the algorithms you are now uh, suppose this is the center of uh, this is our center 
I am showing you an example which is uh, what like U U means up layer upper layer clockwise U prime means upper layer anti clockwise R means upper layer clockwise uh, right layer clockwise and R prime means right layer anti clockwise L L means left layer clockwise L prime means left layer anti clockwise and then down D D means down layer clockwise and D prime means down layer counter clockwise and uh, F F means front layer clockwise and uh, F and F prime means front layer anti clockwise and then B means back back layer uh, B means back layer clockwise and B prime means back layer anti clockwise so let's start with the simple algorithm so if we are, uh, we have a dot the yellow dot we can start with any any side but the yellow should be at the top so the simple algorithm we have to perform is f r u r prime u prime f prime so now let's see there is an l it is formed an l so we won't hold the l like this we'll hold the l like this means one h piece will be at the back and one hp will be at the left so now again the same algorithm f r u r prime u prime f prime now a line has formed uh, is these arrangements proper yes it is proper but a line has formed so if we have a line we can't do it like this we have to do it like this the line should be like this so the same algorithm again f r u r prime u prime f prime wow a third cross is formed now let's see uh, the third cross when the third cross is formed uh, actually if uh, the third cross is proper or not all the edges are not, all the edges are not matching but in every case of the third cross two edges will match sure like this orange and green is matching but this red and blue is not matching so how to match this the correct the correct sides this and these sides one correct side will be at the right and the one at the back so another algorithm r u r prime u r u2 means upper layer two times and then r prime now let's see is it matching no but let us move it yes it is matching green and green is matching orange and orange is matching blue and blue is matching red and red is matching so uh, now we have to get the proper corners means the corner should be placed at proper sides in most of the cases one corner is placed proper not twisted but it is placed properly like it is orange green and yellow and here it is green orange and the upper is yellow so it is not twisted but it is placed but the others are not placed properly so there is a special case when uh, nothing is placed properly means no corner is placed properly from uh, if that case occurs you can start with any place but if one corner is placed properly that piece that this piece should be in our front right front right so let's see a simple algorithm u r u prime l prime u r prime u prime l are all matching yes all are matching like uh, these these are twisted properly also all are placed properly and these two are twisted properly like it's uh, orange blue and yellow it's orange blue and yellow it's uh, or uh, it's red blue yellow it's red blue and yellow this is green red and yellow it is placed properly but not twisted this is also placed properly but not twisted so for twisting this we need to the, this piece should be at our front right so this is the simplest algorithm r prime d prime r d r prime g prime r d now the yellow has faced the top 
so it's okay but sometimes it is not uh, easy because uh, at one time it doesn't but if you uh, apply this for two times it will surely come at the top now this is come at the top now this is left so we are doing it here so we will place this block here now the same algorithm r prime d prime r d r prime d prime r d now it is not uh, we have done it one time but it is not proper it is facing this side so we will do it again r prime d prime r t r prime d prime r t now let's see uh, it's done now just match this and congratulations you have solved your rubik's cube wow it is solved the process i told you uh, can solve any rubik's cube so it's great we have solved the rubik's cube so thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel shornavo channel for more videos like this so bye